Let us see one problem in the random doubt section sent by Rajashri Nath Banerjee. Okay. This is like, you know, given in one of the online tests. Like, uh, I felt it's very easy question. But like, you know, he, like, you know, forced me to keep. Okay. So, I will uh, complete this. And after that, I will extend this to two levels. Okay. Now, first thing here is four pole three phase induction machine here is fed from 40 H three phase and is mechanically coupled mechanically coupled with 4 hp 3 phase synchronous machine fed from 50 h source as shown below choose the correct statement of the following a b c d they have given b c like you know we can directly eliminate in between a d is some confusion is there okay so for example synchronous machine okay one thing we have to understand about the difference between synchronous machine and induction machine induction machine by by its own cannot rotate at synchronous speed so by its own it can rotate at less than synchronous speed but if somebody rotate it it can rotate more than synchronous speed and it can become induction generator okay but synchronous motor can develop steady continuous torque like you know basic concepts okay now in induction machine like you know steady continuous torque can be achieved independent of relative velocity between stator mmf and rotor but in synchronous machine means compulsorily synchronous machine has to be rotated at synchronous speed only once it is connected with infinite bus okay i repeat once it is connected with infinite bus okay now let us calculate because synchronous machine can rotate at only synchronous speed let us calculate synchronous speed of synchronous machine okay is going to be how much 120 f by p so this is going to be 120 frequency is going to 50 h divided by number of poles are four yes four so this is going to be 1500 rpm now my synchronous machine can only rotate at synchronous speed that is 1500 rpm but induction machine can like you know we can make it work as a induction motor at less than synchronous speed or we can make it as a induction generator at more than synchronous speed so let us calculate synchronous speed of induction machine is going to be how much same 120 f by p so this is going to be 120 and how much is the frequency 40 h divided by number of poles 4 again okay so this is going to be 1200 rpm so reference is very simple induction motor can rotate at any speed but synchronous motor has to rotate at synchronous speed only in order to get steady continuous torque so this is this has to rotate at uh, 1500 rpm and so mechanically coupled in the sense it also has to rotate at 1500 rpm okay now basically what is the synchronous speed of a 1200 rpm 1200 rpm so compulsorily my rotor is rotating at more than synchronous speed okay 1200 rpm is the synchronous speed and it is rotating at 1500 rpm means that it is rotating at more than synchronous speed more than synchronous speed it is going to behave like a induction generator so concept here is this is going to be induction generator okay so induction generator in the sense somebody has to rotate it okay so it is able to it is actually behaving like a generator it is able to develop or deliver electrical power means that somebody has to give mechanical power so my synchronous machine will become like a motor it will supply mechanical power okay so this will become motor okay so power flow is from synchronous motor to induction generator so it will be from here to here okay so in our in my previous one of the video i told you that like you know in japan we have two frequencies okay one frequency is uh, 50h another frequency is 60h for example if i want to connect these two this is the way okay for example one of the grid is 50h another of the grid is 40h okay now means output of induction generator is 40h only input of synchronous motor is 50h only so i'll be able to transform power from 50h to 40h because induction motor stator frequency i repeat induction motor stator frequency once it is connected with infinite bus is going to be constant so rotor may rotate at more than synchronous speed or less than synchronous speed or synchronous speed okay now rotor frequency will vary for example many guys will get the confusion here like you know students like you know they feel in induction generator stator frequency differs no for example if it is motor okay so in induction motor once it is supplied with for example given problem 40 h okay so if i think of my rotor okay so rotor may be short circuited by its own and this is rotor 
okay so for example if i steadily hold the rotor not to rotate then also ear 40 h only if it is rotating at less than synchronous speed it will behave like a induction motor then also frequency is 40 h only if it is rotating at more than synchronous speed then also it will be 40 h only so i can connect this to synchronous motor such that if synchronous motor can rotate at more than synchronous speed like you know it will deliver electrical power at 40 h is the advantage okay so we can connect like you know different frequencies grids can be connected through it okay so this can be called as asynchronous transmission line okay or we can say forget about these machines and all because power electrons got developed okay so if i replace these two one if i place power electronic circuitry in order to transform power from different frequency grades is going to be hvdc link okay now next thing is next thing is let me go a bit more okay basically induction machine our induction motor cannot be used as a like you know prime mover to a like you know uh, infinite kind of, sorry grid connected alternator because this is induction motor characteristic okay so this is going to be torque uh, torque requirement of the load and this is going to be speed so this is zero rpm this is ns okay for example if this is the motor if this is the motor connected with generator, synchronous generator, synchronous generator alternator connected with grid, connected with grid. If it is connected with grid, for example, the economic load dispatch problem. Okay. So in economic load dispatch problem, what will happen? Maybe that dispatch problem, economic load dispatch problem may tell this particular synchronous generator to supply maybe P at one instant or maybe P2, maybe other than P at another instant for example means speed is going to be speed should be constant here or not yes so if output power vary if output power vary means that torque has to be varied because speed is going to be constant but in induction motor if torque vary torque vary for example for p1 if this is the speed if i increase to p2 speed is going to be changed okay so speed is going to be changed so the moment speed is changed okay so the moment synchronous generator is connected with infinite bus connected with infinite bus like you know its speed should not be changed but here induction motor without speed variation power output variation cannot happen in the sense increment in power output here increment in torque load here okay will be met by decrease in speed but that particular speed should not be decreased in synchronous generator once it is connected with the infinite bus okay so if it is isolated for example if it is isolated then it's okay maybe at no load at no load it may rotate this at 1500 rpm or output can be 50 h but if it is loaded if synchronous generator is loaded under that conditions mechanical output power requirement will be more under that condition speed will be reduced under that conditions frequency will be reduced under isolated conditions it's okay but once it is connected with grid, once it is connected with grid, like, you know, if I want to increase the power output of the synchronous generator at the same speed, at the same speed, how it is possible? Because induction motor, power output, if you want to increase, speed has to be reduced. If speed reduces, frequency of the synchronous generator will be reduced. But if it is connected with grid, grid frequency should be constant. Okay, so conclusion is very simple. See, my induction motor can be used as a prime mover to rotate alternator. If it is isolated, okay, in isolated conditions, definitely output frequency of alternator should vary. Okay, for example, my alternator is connected with grid, connected with grid, under that condition means only at one speed, one power only it can supply, it can supply, but if you want to have variation in power, variation in power, it means this is not possible, okay, but of course, there are two other variations which is possible to connect to grid by having induction motor, by having induction motor, that is rotor resistance variation can be there our input frequency can be variable input frequency can be variable but those things like you know we will see because in old gate induction generator problem one problem they have given induction generator under isolated condition so under isolated condition in that problem we will discuss about this and in speed control of induction motor